today our topic is neurofibromatosis as the name suggests neuro means nerve and fibroma means a benign tumor composed of fibrous tissue this neurofibromatosis is of two types neurofibromatosis 1 and 2 the neurofibromatosis 1 is more common than nf2 the prevalence of nf1 is 20 to 50% per 1 lakh population and prevalence of nf2 is 1.5% per 1 lakh population both are autosomal dominant type nf1 is caused by mutation of neurofibromin gene on chromosome number 17 on the other hand nf2 is caused by mutation of marlin gene on chromosome number 22 now coming to the manifestations or you can say the clinical criteria for nf1 the earliest manifestation is cafe au lait spots as you can see in the picture the color of the spots is similar to milky coffee it is non specific hyperpigmented spots seen mostly within 1 year of age based on whether you are diagnosing it prepubertal or postpubertal their significance is different prepubertal spots have to be more than 5 mm and postpubertal spots have to be more than 15 mm more than 6 cafe au lait spots are needed for diagnosis the second criteria is neurofibroma basically these are tumors of nerve sheath this neurofibroma is of two types peripheral neurofibroma and plexiform neurofibroma plexiform neurofibromas are most commonly seen along the distribution of fifth cranial nerve single lesion is enough for diagnosis and these are pre malignant state on the other hand the peripheral neurofibromas can be seen anywhere in the body more than two lesions are needed for diagnosis and these are non cancerous state the third criteria is axillary freckles these are very very specific for nf1 these are basically small brown well circumscribed macules in the axillary region they are rarely seen in the inguinal region the fourth criteria is optic nerve glioma this is the tumor of optic nerve in fact it is the most common tumor or most common malignancy in nf1 bilateral tumor is diagnostic for nf1 the optic nerve becomes thickened elongated and beaded next is leish nodule they are pigmented hematomatous benign nodule hematoma is a benign tumor like growth they are seen in iris only with the help of slit lamp more than 2 nodules are diagnostic for nf1 it doesn't affect the vision number 6 criteria for diagnosing nf1 is presence of nf1 in first degree relatives 
The seventh criteria is bone changes. The most common manifestation is kyphoscoliosis. But the classical finding is sphenoid dystrophy. Now coming to neurofibromatosis type 2, also known as central neurofibromatosis. The presentations are bilateral acoustic schwannomas. Acoustic means involving the cochlear vestibular nerve. Schwannomas are similar to neurofibroma but they contain excessive amount of Schwann cells. Number 2. Posterior subcapsular cataract Meningioma, these are growth of meninges Ependymoma, these are tumor of CSF producing ependymal cells which results in increased intracranial pressure. 